Abdul Rahman. I'm a lecturer at a public university in Kenya. I deliver lectures in computing and informatics. In our last lesson, we discussed about the syntax. And basically, we discussed about five elements of a syntax. We discussed about keywords, about identifiers, about constants, about variables and symbols. Today, we are going to discuss and answer question what are comments in C programming. And to take us into uh, that journey, we are going to discuss what is the definition of comments, what are the types of comments, what are the syntax of comments, and what are the styles of comments. So, basically, uh, let's start with the first part of it and say what are the definition of a comment. So, what is a comment? Comment, basically, uh, it is uh, basically a notation. And this particular annotation is uh, uh, meant for, or for the code. So it's a notation for the source code. So basically here, by the meaning of a notation of a source code, we are saying we are trying to document. We are trying uh, to make our code easily readable to other users. And it's very important that in case of we want to enhance our code or change our code in future who anyone either the uh, the current author or any other author can go through and understand that particular code so that is the basic objective of writing up uh, uh, comments inside a source code and uh, basically these particular source codes they are ignored by the compiler And also, they are ignored by the interpreter. So basically, when comments are written, they don't interfere with the code. Both the compiler and the interpreter, actually, they are, are ignored by them. And basically, what, what will be the use of a code? Basically, there are two uses of the code. One is for documentation. Basically, as I discussed earlier, documentation makes us uh, readable and can be reused and uh, enhanced or changed by other programmer. Number two, why do we do up comments? Basically, we do comments for debugging. What is debugging? Debugging is a process of finding up error and eliminating those particular error uh, into a code. So, uh, programmers most of the time if they've got hundreds of codes, they use comments to debug uh, the code in order to eliminate those particular uh, errors. So it's very important also to understand in that particular error. So let's go to our second uh, question. What are the type of comments? Basically, there are two types of comments. The first type is called the inline comment. The inline comment, basically, it is meant uh, to comment into single line. So if you want to comment a single line, you're going to use what you call an inline comment. Number two is what you call a block comment. So a block comment, basically, they are meant uh, to comment multiple, multiple line. So multiple line comments. So these are the two uh, basic types of comments. So how do you write up this particular comment? Uh, actually takes up to the syntax of a comment. So for the inline comment or single line comment, uh, you are preceded by two forward slash and then you write up your comment. It is very simple as that. While for the block comment, you are preceded by a single forward slash and an asterisk and then here you are going to write up the multiple line so your comments will come up here and then they are going to end up with an asterisk and a backward slash so basically this will be up the syntax of that particular 
uh, comment either for inline or the block comment. The uh, last part of it, we are going to talk about the styles of a comment. Basically, there are two styles of comments. Style number one is uh, what we call up the end style. In the end style comment, basically what happens, uh, it is we write first of all a code and then at the end we write up our comment. Number two, we are talking about the top comment. The top comment, basically we write first of all our comment at the top. And then at the bottom, we bring up our code. So basically, this is, uh, this is how it is done. And um, there are different styles uh, to, be, uh, to be written in a comment. They can be written up in a different manner. Uh, others people, they, for the single comment, they'll put up a comment line. And then put some dashes there. And then put up a, a comment here and then put up some dashes. For the uh, blog comment, others may decide uh, to start up uh, with the comment itself, put some asterisks, and then put up a comment here, And then end up a comment. So basically, these are the two styles. But it is very important to understand that whichever style we are going to uh, adapt, we should just be consistent in our code. So let's see how uh, these comments can be implemented uh, in C programming. So let's take up uh, uh, our last code and see what has happened. So here, basically, this was our last code whereby we had seen that uh, we are adding up uh, two numbers and those particular numbers. Uh, so if I want to comment about this particular uh, code and uh, basically uh, uh, what I want it is uh, to have a block comment and that particular block comment I want uh, to tell people what is this old program about and who was the author of this particular program. So I'll use up a block comment. So I'll have a forward, I'll have a forward slash with an asterisk. A forward slash with an asterisk. And maybe a, a, a try to adapt and have uh, so many asterisks. And here, basically, I'll have maybe the author The author maybe will be Abrahman. And then here I'll have what, uh, what will be our subject. Our subject will be uh, adding two numbers. And uh, what language are we using, basically? So my language maybe will be C programming. And basically, uh, what will be the date? So the date, for example, will be 2019. And then now I'll try to uh, close up now this is basically our comment and if we run this particular uh, program let's run it it has, it has seen here we have what we have uh, here we have got an error and this particular error can be used if we are using up a comment, we can comment on a single line here. After commenting up a single line, when we execute our program, 
we are saying it has executed but nothing has shown so we know our problem it is it is in this line of code so you can go back and see so you can see here we are missing up the f so print f so if we put up a print uh, uh, print f on this particular uh, line uh, and d comment and d comment will see that the error has disappeared so let's execute now and see see now the error has disappeared and we are getting up our answer to become up 30 so that is very very important to understand on that particular error and uh, when we see up the styles of comments when we move up here we can see up the two styles of comments here and uh, when also we are executing this there will be no error because we have got two styles of comment the first style of comment and the second style of comment thank you very much we are coming to the end of this particular uh, lesson of comments and we are the next lesson we are going to talk about uh, variables so don't forget to subscribe in this particular uh, channel for more updates thank you mm -hmm.